big into, into Fiat's. And, uh, Yeah, the best way is to slide your left leg in underneath the steering wheel before you sit down. So oh. now you're going to have to try to bend your... It's already messed it up. Your leg the opposite. Hey. No, this is good. This is perfectly fine. Although... <laughs> well, grab the handle and pull it down. Ease it down, don't let it drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man, that's... <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty good. I actually think the, the footwell might have a little bit more room than the X19 does, actually. Maybe. The pedal yeah. box is very small and offset to the left because there's a wheel right where the pedal box would normally be. So right, it's, it's yeah. offset to your left a little bit. Yeah, the, the clutch is like way over this yeah. way. Yeah. But I mean, like where the where the brake and the, the throttle is perfectly yeah. fine, you know? Like, yeah. You just have to, yeah, yeah, my knee. Oh, you yeah. have to wear driving shoes. <laughs> or just go barefoot. Yeah. Don't film you getting out because no one can look cool doing that either. Let's see. Hey, there we go. That's too bad. <laughs> I made it. I'm used to small cars. I like how they label the air intake. Oh, yeah. So you know. Yeah. Well, in the back, exhaust is hot. <laughs> Geographies, but you know. It's cool, man. Oh, just go down this way and like you can take a right or you can go straight, whichever. I bet you don't see those everywhere. Is it comfy back there? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is where the boss sits. Look at the yeah, right room. room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and actually, these are jump seats. No kidding. This holds up. It's a windshield. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, wow. That's cool. This comes up. So it's a windshield for the back. Yeah. Yeah. Pop up two little jumps. Oh wow! <laughs> it's like a minivan. What year is it? 1925. And you know, I live in Blanco, and I drive this car every day. This is my daily car. No way. Yeah. That's right. I just noticed the leaf springs, like leather wrapped. You want to keep the grease inside? Oh, keep the grease in. Oh, interesting. You have to turn that to open the hood. Yeah. This is brass era. I remember it's 100 years old. That is just weird. That's awesome. Yeah, what's this? <laughs> oh, and I, I just saw the uh, gear shift down there. Four on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, uh, even though it's labor intensive, the assumption is you're not doing it because the owner's manual says. Owner should advise driver to change the <laughs> The whole thing reads like you're delegating all the shit to somebody right, else. Right, yeah. And that, it's hooked oh, to the engine. Yeah. And you want your, you don't want your thumb like that because it might kick. Okay. You do like that so you don't bring it. And then you pull it about. There we go. There you go. Give right. it a yank. There you go. There you go. Wow. That. that was easy. That's cool. Oh man, this is the, uh, your, your tail lamp. Yeah, there's not much. And that's the gas gauge. That's the way you come in here.
dad's wagon's got a little bit of chop to it.
popular probably truck of all time before F100. It's a 1953 Patrick Broom. Worth the winner. Winner. Number two, we have a Tonka Toy Favor, which is a pickup truck 60 and newer. Today's winner is vehicle number 45, Jeff Wall, with his Hummer H1. He's, on now, he's got to be here. Man. All right, category three, <laughs> Downton Abbey favorite. <laughs> British all year, Rolls Royce Silver Ghost from 1925. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Number four, Berlin's best favorite. But the winner today is car number 139, John Gunderson, in his sweet Porsche 911 GSR. Italian all years. And we've got a 2018 Maserati Gran Torino Frida McLaughlin. Nice. And there it's Tokyo Trophy favorite, Japanese all year. Today's winner, <clears throat> star number 37, Mark Ross in his Acura NSX. Mark, are you here? Woo! Yeah. Very good, sir. Category number seven, which is early iron favorite, 1929 <coughs> and older, all makes. We have a 1929, just made it in there. Ford Roadster, William Young. Congratulations. Next up is class number eight. Greatest generation favorite, 1930s all mates. Today's winner is number 46, Arden Ooh, Wheeling, Arnold. in a Ford Coupe, 1934. Yeah, there you go. Oh, is that the oh, good. All right, it's the Yankee Pride favorite, 1940s all mates. Winning car number 185, a Dodge D14, Jim Shanahan. Number 10, Baby Boomer favorite, number 408, John McGon Mackin with a 1950 Chevrolet Business Coupe. Business Coupe. Nice. Very nice. Number 11, Bonanza Spaniel. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very 1956 to 1959, all makes. Well, we all saw it. The Ford Thunderbird, Rick Rosa, 1956. Okay, number 12, Happy Days. Oh, let's do a big one. Hey! 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 Number 13, keeping in the Happy Days theme, we got the Fonzie Fun favorite. 1966 to 69. We got the Chevy Nova SS 1966, Tom Nemzow. Oh, the next one is Starsky and Hutch favorite. So today, we have the honor of presenting not one, not, but two, two awards because there was a stone cold tie between car number 105 from Michael Shelton with his Chevy Chevelle 1970 and Gary Walden with his Corvette Stingray 1971. Please vote. We're up to 15, the chips down favorite 1976 to 1979 all makes we got a Porsche 911, Daniel Souza, 1976. First year of the category. Congratulations. Are you here, Daniel? Back to the Future, which 1980s all mates. Today's winner from very much in the present is Frankie Seriano, number 188 with his Chevy Monte Carlo, 83. Is that you? On the road again, favorite, 1990s, all makes the Chevy Cyclone, 1994, Christopher Levy. Category 18 is our Fast and Furious favorite, which means 2000s, all makes. Today's winner is Aaron Netherton in that fine Pontiac Trans Am, 2002. Yeah. Car number 19, where are you? Modern Might Favorite, 2010, 2024, all makes, power machines, Ford Mustang, GT350, David DeStefano. 
Untouchables, favorite original unrestored, all makes and years. This is pretty much wide open, but today's winner is Johnny Stanley with his sweet 1978 Cadillac Barrett, number 131. Is Johnny here? All right, it's time for the Skin Knuckles favorite project. Work in progress, that's what my wife calls me. <laughs> You'll all, get there, Bob. You'll all, get there. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. All makes and years. Uh, Michael Playley, Simpson SD, is that right? 2001. Michael. Number 22, Charlie's Angels' favorite, which is a woman-owned vehicle. Today's winner is Rita Schwartz in her Mercury Cyclone oh, yeah. GT. have a vote and they picked the Ford Thunderbird from Tony Fannin, a 61 T-Bird, the kids favorite. There you go. All right. Hot Here wire we favorite. Here we go. Bob, tell us what it is. What car that right, you so saw that you want to hide? This is the 1970 first year in the show. Joseph McCown, 1970, <laughs> that red Dodge Challenger. Uh, my favorite hot wire today uh, was owned by Jane Sharon Bear. They got a 57 Chevy Handyman, beautiful teal color. So that would be my favorite car to hot wire. I don't think the Bears are here. All right, our uh, People's Choice Award is a car that won a previous category, but the people have voted. The people have and they have been heard. The people have been heard. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick Rosa picks up his second award of the day. Oh, 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 oh. Seven T birds are doing really well today. There you go. And the second uh, People's Choice goes to the Rolls Royce, uh, 1921. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, sir. Better have some space on your mantle. Thank you, Charles. Thank everybody for hanging out and doing the dance. next year. I promise it will be better weather because it can't get much worse.